Welcome back to Morocco Method, where natural things happen, and today we have Ellen joining us as our special guest. Hello! Detox! So Zen Detox to the rescue here. So we want to talk about what the properties are, why we're doing this, and the word itself, detox, should tell us a lot. So people are detoxing here, detoxing this, detoxing the liver, detoxing internally. You know, to get really healthy, what goes in has to come out. So how do we get what's in our scalp and hair out? That's the, that's what the detox. So this is volcanic clay and this particular Zen that we're looking at is from Italy. And it's millions and millions and millions of years of decomposed volcanic ashes. You can see how fine powder it is. It's pretty amazing. I think it's very fine. So what you want to do is you want to just put this in water, really good water, and hydrate it. For, and then that makes a nice thick cream. Then you go ahead and just put it into your scalp and all over your hair. I actually do my face, my neck. I do the whole bust. Yeah, I actually, I'll use a little bit of Zen Detox, just mixed with water really quick. Mm -hmm. And I'll use it as a spot treatment, actually, mm -hmm. for like pimples and things. Mm -hmm. Just leave that on my face overnight, and when I wake up, they're usually pretty sucked out of there. Isn't that great? Yeah, it is. So we have a lot of buildup all over our bodies, and basically, like, of course, we're a Morocco method where natural hair happens. And we really want to treat your scalp and hair to the most luxurious conditions we possibly can get you. And then Zen Detox to the rescue will really help that. So by putting this in, you leave it in for, in the beginning when you're not really used to it, I would say 10, 12 minutes. And then after you're a veteran, you can leave it in for half an hour, 45 minutes. But what's going to happen when it dries, it's going to start pulling. Right. Gonna, the face gets pulled, the scalp gets pulled. You can feel it. Oh, big time. So eventually you're going to want to run to the shower and <laughs> rinse it out or dive into the bathtub and soak it out because it's really going to have the skin stretching. But it really pulls a lot of toxins out of the scalp. Absolutely. And the same goes as well. The Zen Detox is great while you're detoxing. If you're experiencing, you know, excess oil and your scalp is mm. re-regulating its own oils, um, I know for me as well, um, the Zen Detox is the best treatment to be doing during your initial, like, beginning with Morocco Method. Yeah, because everybody has builds up on all these different levels, and this is going to speed up the process and get you to be happier, healthier, looking really fast. And what Ellen is bringing up is really important. So if you have really excess oil, it's because your sebaceous glands are out of sync. They're basically producing way too much oil. And you want a scalp massage and brush to get a lot of air and blood in there. A lot of brushing. And the Zen Detox is really going to help you balance off the sebaceous glands. So the oil basically will start becoming much more normal so you're not producing way too much oil. That's pretty exhausting to the entire scalp. And when you realize what's below the scalp is the brain. Exactly. Our brain is there. And we really don't want to keep continuing putting in chemicals because that's going to seep. It's just like putting chemicals on soil. So when, we, when you're actually using chemicals on soil, it's actually seeping down into the soil, going deeper and deeper, eventually into the aquifers. And the same thing with us, with our scalp. It's going to seep deeper and deeper, eventually down into the brain, into our blood. It's actually from the blood, it's going to be translated all the way through to all of our organs. Mm -hmm. So detox, you want to start here, pulling it out. You want to start with your food, with your attitude. Attitude is everything. On every level, we want to start detoxing. This Zen Detox is the ultimate for hair and scalp. So follow our directions. It's really easy. Really easy. And the other thing is, like, you can make the whole, I usually make the whole jar up at once. And what's left over, I just leave in a cool, dry place. And then if it turns into a rock after a month, six months, all I do is just add a little bit of water. And within hours, it's cream again. Rehydrated. So you can use just a little bit if you want to, save the rest, or you can mix up a whole bunch. Yes, yeah, save it for later on. It'll never go to waste. It definitely will turn into a rock, <laughs> but it's easy to rehydrate.